hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial so in this uh, video or lecture what we are going to see is we are going to see the step-by-step -step process how we can set up Jenkins on a kubernetes cluster so there are different ways you can set up Jenkins uh, on kubernetes so one of the ways like you can install Jenkins using help uh, and there's other ways like you can do it with the Jenkins operator and the third way is like uh, the basic setup like we do it with the uh, deployment and service YAML file so if you have seen my uh, tutorial on uh, Kubernetes we have spoke about how to write deployment manifest file service manifest file uh, we have not uh, uh, went into helms and other topics so in this uh, video what we will be doing is we'll be talking about how to set up kubernetes using the basic yaml files okay so how to deploy uh, kubernetes uh, uh, sorry how to deploy jenkins on kubernetes so what we are going to use we are going to use a mini cube setup so uh, it will act you know as a you know normal cluster even though you know uh, it's not a actual cluster where you have multiple nodes but the process is same even if you have a uh, multiple node kubernetes you can do the same uh, thing what we are doing so we'll uh, see how uh, jenkins can be set up on the mini cube uh, uh, kubernetes setup so if you don't know how to set up mini cube please check the link on my video i have also done a complete video on how to set up mini cube and also the uh, complete basics on architecture how to write the yaml file uh, the controllers and all those things i have covered so you can have a look on that so what we will do uh, in this uh, installation uh, tutorial for Jenkins on Kubernetes so the steps are involved like we'll create a, a Jenkins namespace uh, and we'll uh, uh, write the Jenkins uh, deployment YAML file so we'll go through the complete YAML file and I'll also give the github link so you can download the YAML file from there and also uh, we'll deploy the Jenkins uh, so that you know the deployment is created and uh, we'll create the Jenkins service um, uh, YAML file as well because we need to access the deployment from an outside so we need to expose the deployment so you need to have a service for that and then you know, also um, yeah, once you use the Jen service YAML file you will make this Jenkins accessible from outside by exposing as a service and once we are able to uh, access it from outside we will access the Jenkins dashboard and then we will see the steps how to set up the uh, Jenkins because we need to uh, enter the password uh, the initial setup password so we'll see how you can get that from the Jenkins in the Kubernetes logs and then you will uh, set up the admin account and all those things we'll see that step by step process so uh, before I do the actual uh, hands-on on the Kubernetes cluster, I would uh, request you like if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe button and also kindly like my video, share and comment. If you have any feedbacks, please uh, put the feedback on the comment section. So I'm uh, using the mini cube. So I have the mini cube uh, set up. So as I mentioned, you can check on the video link. Uh, uh, which is given the video description to say, see how to set up mini cube now we can see my mini cube state as the kubelet is running and uh, you know if i go to kubectl cluster info you'll be able to see the cluster info as well so let me clear out the screen okay so by default if you see like kubectl get namespace you can see these are the namespace like default namespace which will be used so uh, what i want to do is i want to create a new uh, uh, namespace so we'll use uh, kubectl uh, create namespace and the name is jenkins so you can see it's created and if you get the namespace you will able to see one more namespace okay so we'll use this namespace uh, for deploying our jenkins so uh, let's go through now the yaml file uh, to for the deployment and also the service so we can use that to create our jenkins deployment and service so i have already uh, put this uh, deployment uh, yaml file over here so i will link this uh, you know in the video description where i will be putting this yaml file in the github location so you can go there and download it so now if you see what we are using it we are using the api v1 and the kind is a deployment so you can uh, refer my deployment uh, yaml manifest file tutorial so how we write this 
and you know we can use replicas so I'm using only just one replica for this tutorial but if you want the more replicas you can use that as well okay and uh, you know you can also see like how you can use uh, you know replica sets or uh, deployment uh, manifest files so how you can control you know the replica account okay so uh, what we are have to do is like one of the key thing is like ma match labels so we are using the key value pair app Jenkins so this should match with the pods so uh, the uh, pods uh, template also I'm giving the app Jenkins and this we will be using in the service as well so you know it can uh, convert uh, those deployment as a service okay so uh, the from the container side since we have to create a Jenkins I'm going to give the uh, container name as Jenkins and the image I'm using the Jenkins uh, LTS version and the port which we have to expose it port 8080 which is uh, will be used for the con uh, Jenkins port and the volume I'm also using a persistent volume so if you don't need a persistent volume you can remove this section okay uh, from this section onwards you can remove it so since I want to have a persistent volume which will be mapped uh, to the you know, host machine so we are mapping the war uh, Jenkins home uh, to this location okay so uh, that's how this uh, configuration file uh, for deployment will look like and the service will be pretty simple so what we are using is kind service and the API version v1 and the name of service we are going to give Jenkins and you know the type uh, what we are using a node port so there are different ways you can expose so one is node port there are something like cluster IP which is internal for cluster and also there is something which you can use for a cloud kind of setup but here we want the node port setup because we want to access this um, service from uh, you know, outside so we'll use node port and uh, the port which uh, we want to expose 80 and we are the target port also 80 and the uh, selector is app Jenkins as I said the key value pair so that it can use uh, uh, that port or uh, deployment as uh, you know, uh, exposing when it's exposing it will look for what has to be attached to it so that is all for this uh, you know, uh, deployment and also the service so now what we will do is we'll uh, copy this deployment and we need to create uh, this yaml file on the machine so let me create a file uh, called jenkins deployment dot yaml okay the name can be anything so i'm just giving uh, since it's the jenkins tutorial i just given that name so i just pasted that deployment uh, content over here let me save this so you will have a file called the Jenkins deployment here right and uh, now what we need to do is we need to create the deployment so you have to use kubectl create hyphen f and we need to call the file Jenkins deployment and since we want to run this deployment in the different namespace called Jenkins we need to specify that as well so let me just run that so now we can see the deployment is created so if you go kubectl get deployments you can see sorry uh, it, it will not show in the default namespace so here also you need to use Jenkins so it will show up you know the deployment is created but it's still not ready right uh, the reason would be like let's check kubectl get parts and here also you have to give the you know, namespace as Jenkins so now you can see the container creating so this will take some time to create so you can check this using kubectl logs and the port name so this is the port name okay and the hyphen and Jenkins so now you can see it's uh, waiting for the container to be created so we need to wait okay so uh, the reason is like you know the whole Jenkins process will take some time to complete so let's wait for some time then we, we will check you know what the status of the port and the uh, deployment now if I run this log you can see it's, uh, it has started it so you can see it has also given the initial setup password which we will use after the uh, service is set up okay so let me check the kubectl get port status now you can see the port is uh, ready one and it's running right now if you see kubectl get deployments you can see the deployment is also up right so now the deployment is ready now we need to create the service so let me uh, copy this service uh, content and let me go back and uh, let me create a file uh, called uh, 
Jenkins uh, service okay again I will say like you know it doesn't matter what name you want to give so it's just uh, the name which you, when you run the uh, command line you just need to map the file that's all so now let me uh, uh, create as a service so kubectl create hyphen f and this would be Jenkins service.yaml and it should be also in the Jenkins namespace okay now you can see so the service also got created so if I say kubectl get service you can see the service is also running right so we just okay I think the reason is yeah it's not uh, the same service we need to give the hyphen and Jenkins so now you can see this Jenkins service is running and you know it's uh, mapping to the port 30779 so let's see uh, whether we are able to access this um, you know service from outside so in order to out access the uh, outside you need to know the IP address of your cluster so I will just use minikube IP so I got this IP address so this is the IP address of the cluster and this is the port number so we need to access with that so I will just uh, copy this so what we need to run is you need to run the IP address of the minikube and the port 30779 so once I run it, you can see now Jenkins has started and it's in the initial setup part, uh, place, right? So now we need to enter the initial password, uh, which you can get it from the kubectl get logs. I think we ha had already that comment. So let's run this. Yep. So once you run this, uh, at the end, you will be able to see this password. You just need to copy this and uh, you need to put that over here and you have to click next so in the next uh, this screen you know you can just uh, install suggested plugin or you can uh, you know uh, install uh, as per you need so I will just keep this screen and I'll, and I'll be back once we have this completed this may take some time for the installation to be completed so we are done uh, with that installation part now you can create the user account so uh, the best thing is you can create other you don't have to skip because you can use uh, you know this uh, account to log in so I will create an account as admin and I'll just give some password for it and you can also give some name so for now I'll just give some tests okay and I'll just uh, continue and you can see the URL which will be used to access or so you can just click on finish and you can uh, click on start using Jenkins so you can see we are uh, uh, done and we are inside the Jenkins uh, screen so you can see all the settings you can see manage Jenkins uh, you know how to create you know new items or you know if you want to create some new job so in the freestyle job uh, no, I'll just click on ok so it will create a job so uh, in order to learn more about Jenkins please have a look on my tutorials on Jenkins in uh, the DevOps playlist where I have shown how to set up uh, Jenkins with uh, Git, how to have a uh, no, uh, Git integration. We ha can have a uh, polling from SEM polling from Git. Uh, we can have Jenkins pipeline to deploy some application to build using Maven, right? And how to integrate with Sonar Cube. So there are a lot of tutorials in that playlist. You can have a look there. So in this uh, tutorial of J installing Jenkins on Kubernetes, we seen uh, the step by step process: how to create the namespace, uh, creating J deployment f uh, YAML file, how to deploy Jenkins so using the deployment, create you know uh, service YAML file, and how to expose that as service, and also access Jenkins dashboard, how to set up the admin account for Jenkins, and all those things. So that's all for this tutorial. So I would uh, recommend you to keep uh, watching my channel so you can click on subscribe for more videos. So I hope you are going to like my videos, those who are I'm going to planning for the upcoming and also the existing videos. So uh, please uh, support me by subscribing and liking the video, sharing and commenting.